Oh my god, I've just watched Hustlers. Have you seen it? Comment below, let me know what you think. I like a good conversation, sharing our opinions. I love this. Hustlers is about destiny. Constance Wu, who works really hard as they used to call an erotic dancer. Mm -hmm. And it's all about being real, which is the tip, the dating tip for today. Be yourself, be real. Side note, Destiny is a real inspiration for normal people like me and my editor. Oh wow, that was really British. The guy who cuts my videos and does my graphics. <laughs> Knew you thought it. It wasn't me, of course. Hello, artistic collaborations. Love that. When I hired him, I told him, Danielle, we have to work really hard in what we love before earning any money. It's important to include your collaborators in your vision. Tell them what you think, what you believe. Make them believe in that as well. That's the secret. Back to Hustlers. Constance is really cool, but the movie is really about Jennifer Lopez. I hear just got oh two Bs. Oh my and an e? god. She's a goddess. She crushes it. She dances the pole and she takes control of the situation, of her body, of everything. Wow. JLo gives the performance of her life to everyone who ever said, audiences will never connect with the struggles of Latina women characters. Well, honey, you are late because they already did with Jalitza Aparicio in Roma. JLo says, hold my cerveza, I'm a human being, god damn it. She makes us believe because she is Real, right? Cause you know how I am. I'm real. What you get is what you see. But no, it is a complete disaster. Supernova nuclear disaster. Supernova nuclear disaster. That she was snubbed by the Academy without an Oscar nomination. At least Yalitza got a nomination. This is just like when Linda Fiorentino was nominated for The Last Seduction. Bjork for Dancer in the Dark, Maureen O'Hara for The Quiet Man, or Carl Lombard for To Be or Not To Be, or Gina Davis for The Long Kiss Goodnight, Marilyn Monroe, Jane Lee Curtis for anything she's done in her life, or Catherine O'Hara. What's wrong with the O'Haras? My point here is, be yourself, but still be ready for rejection. I'm gonna tell you a secret, a tiny one. I once got dumped because of my accent. Your accent is, I just can't place it. I feel that I do not know the real you. Then I feel the need to explain my story, that I'm a product of international schooling. I'm sorry, but my privacy comes before your curiosity. You are making me reveal that my references are international, global. I am a citizen of the world. It's hard being the child of a diplomat. But you know what? I'm lucky because I got to meet all these international people. And now, thanks to YouTube, I can share that wisdom with you guys. Back to Hustlers. <laughs> JLo, I mean Ramona. She's a pioneer. She's a socialist. She's like, this whole country's a strip club. You've got people tossing the money and people doing the dance. Stripping is like coronavirus. J-Lo knows that we're all in together. All in together. And sometimes I feel that my beloved is tossing the money, working such long hours at the hospital. And I am the one doing the dance poll at home, right here on YouTube. And that is a bad feeling. We've got to be true to ourselves. Love what we do. It is very easy to think, am I being true to myself, living this life? But then, then I remember, this is all about you guys. You are probably watching me when you're on the bus, going to work, despite the lockdown. Hashtag thank you keyworkers. 
when I think of you. In that bus, I remember that videos like this are important to you to keep the show on on the road. <sighs> the bus on the road. I got all that from J Lo. What a hero. Heroine. She is a hero of the movement against economic inequality. I bet she's read Zizek. Have you? Quite mainstream though. I'll add a link in the description for you to know. <sighs> Love you guys. Be real. See you real soon.